I'm going to now move to my next set of four bars. Press lead three again. You'll see this one here has a 3% difference. Then I can move to my next set of bars. Press lead three again. Waveforms lined on top of each other. 3% difference. Let's span this one more time and say that we've got another bad one. Try and simulate another bad one so that we can get the report in here. This time we select, we lead three again. Waveform patterns off again. Now, if we continued all the way around and everything else was good, we would, um, or when we're finished, when we're finished testing the DC, uh, the DC armature, we're going to close the screen. Shine down here. Let's close the screen. It says surge lead L, -R L to L EAR percentage is out of tolerance. We say OK. Now, if you want to save this data, because we went into the surge screen manually, we have to save manually. So you'll see the yellow button here that says Save Results. We're going to save those. So now that is saved under our file called DC Testing. To print this, we need to go up to the Print button here. We'll say that we're going to print the current uh, test record and we want to have our basic results with our surge waveforms e EAR graph and then we can say select create report This section up here will give you your nameplate information. Here is your surge um, results. Lead 1 would be your reference waveform or your master waveform. And then lead 2 and lead 3, well, your reference waveform would also be considered your good waveform. And then lead 2 and lead 3 would show you your bad waveforms. You can display that and then you can display that to your customer. We're going to demonstrate the operation of the ZT, the AT101 start over again. We're, to, we're, we're going to discuss the operation of the AT101 ZTX with the AWA 12 kV unit. The ZTX is designed to test DC armatures bar. We're going to discuss the operation of the AT101 ZTX with the AWA. 12 kV unit. The ZTX is designed to test DC armatures bar to bar. When purchasing the AT101 ZTX, it comes with the impedance matching transformer, a data communication cable, a foot switch, and then it also comes with various fixtures for testing DC armatures. One type is the test probes and the other unit is a bar-to-bar -bar test fixture. The bar-to-bar -bar test fixture has the outriggers that are adjustable for different diameter comms and we also have an adjustable uh, connectors here for doing the bar-to-bar -bar testing to adjust to the different spans uh, of the commutator bars. We also have the test clips and these are for testing the inner pulls uh, of a DC motor. When connecting the AT101 ZTX to the AWA, we have to connect the 
communication port, which goes into the auxiliary port of the AWA. And we connect the other port to the auxiliary port of the ZTX. And to power up the transformer, we will connect lead one to test lead one here, where it shows right here. And the ground lead will right here. Remember your foot switch. Oops, I forgot about connecting the foot switch. Okay, go on it, that sucks. You will put it back and let's we'll, we'll just hang out it to it. And it'll go ahead and hang over. Yeah. Yeah. The foot switch connects into the front here. It's also designated here that says foot switch. Put this on the floor here. The foot switch is used to engage uh, the voltage uh, to the probes or the, the test fixture uh, to apply the voltage. This way you can have your hands on the test probes.